welcome back to Come Cook With Me. I'm Ms. Bailey, and today we're going to be doing some fun camping cooking. I have my assistant today. You want to tell everybody your name? My name is Abigail, and I'm six, and I'm almost seven. I'll be seven in three months. I have the cutest three weeks. Three weeks. Close. <laughs> um, I have the cutest little brother named Jojo. You might have seen him in some other videos. That's right. We have one more member to our family, our cute little brother, Jojo. So today we're going to do some fun camping food. This is food that you can make in your house, of course, but it's also food that you can make if you are out camping. So we have a dinner and a treat for after dinner. So we're going to start by making walking tacos. <laughs> Abigail, what makes it a walking taco? Because they're in chip bags. And That's you can right. take them camping. That's right. We're going to make them in chip bags so you can walk around with them so they're easy to eat at a campsite. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our taco meat. So come on into the kitchen with us. So we're going to start by heating up some meat. This happens to be ground chicken. You can use ground beef, ground turkey, whatever you like. First we ground up the meat and drained it. And now we're going to make it into taco meat. So the first thing you need to do is add some kind of taco seasoning. You can do store-bought or homemade, whatever you've got. What did we do, Mom? This is store-bought. Oh, if I can open it. Now we're going to add in our taco seasoning. Go ahead and add it all in. Careful, the stove is hot. You always got to be careful around the stove. Even if you are growing up, be careful. That's right. Growing Even growing up, up can, can get burn burned. Burn Go like this. All right, can you throw that away, Abigail? No, it's the garbage. It's right there. All right, next you're going to add however much water your mix calls for. So all, ours calls for three fourths. So pour it in. Good job. And then just give it a good mix. Can I mix it? Yep, go ahead. So you're going to cook it on about medium high. And however long basically it takes for some of the liquid to absorb. And give me a good stir. That's starting to look like ketchup. It does kind of look like ketchup, yep. Or so like give it a good mix. Sauce. Yeah. And about five or ten minutes to cook on the stove. It'll start bubbling after a little bit. And then it'll turn into yummy taco meat. So, we go so we'll check back in in a few minutes. All right, we are back. We have browned up our meat and got it all flavorful. And now we're going to put our tacos together. This These is what are real. Looks like. Yep, looks just like that. These are really easy because whatever you like on your taco is what you can put in these. We have sour cream, tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, and hot sauce. And if there's anything else you like on tacos, throw it in also. What makes these walking tacos is, of course, the chips. You can use Doritos, Fritos are a good choice too, whatever you like. And the first step is to take your bag and just crunch up the chips a little. Not too small, but just a couple good crunches. Then you want to open it from the top. Don't rip it down the side. You want to open it from the top like this. It's what the chips should look like when you're done crunching them. Yep, and you can even roll your bag just a little bit so it's easier to get in there. Do you want to do yours? I, I crunched up mine. I was going to roll your bag a little bit. Roll your bag. And then you're just going to add your ingredients in. Hold this. We're going to start with our taco meat. So be careful because it's going to be hot. So you don't want to put too much liquid in, so make sure you're mostly just meat. So sprinkle in your meat. All right, hold yours over here, Abs. I want to do it. Okay. How would I like hold? Like three. Yep. Again, depends on how hungry you are. If you're having dinner, you want to put a lot, put a lot. And you can even make extra for when, for when you, if, in case you want more. That's right. And again, taco meat can get heated up over a campfire too, so this is easy to do other places. And then you want to add your toppings. I like to add cheese first. Why, Abigail? Do you know why? Because the cheese can melt. That's right. Because if, if you put it in less, the, um, the meat might already been cooled. So you want your cheese to melt. So put, it, so put your cheese in full. Yeah, you want to put the cheese right next to the hot meat. And then you can put in whatever else you like. Lettuce. Tomatoes. I'm going to add some hot sauce. You ready, Abigail? You want your hot sauce? No. No. Abigail doesn't like spicy foods. A little hot sauce some tomatoes, and of course, in our house, we love what? Sour cream. Sour cream. Did you get tomatoes yet? Yes. 
sour cream. You gotta finish with a big dollop of sour cream. Or a couple of dollops. Or a couple of dollops. Well, she does that. I'm gonna get us something to eat with. You can use a spoon or a fork, whatever you got. Yeah, or if you're camping, maybe you'll have a spork. What's a spork? A, a fork and a spoon in one. So like a closed fork? Yep. All right. How are you so once you got up? everything, just no, no, not like that. That'd probably be messy. Just use your spoon. Put your spoon in and kind of stir it around. It may not be the prettiest food around, but it sure is yummy. Are you ready to taste it? Yeah. Get a little meat. Get a little toppings. You ready? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Is that good? Very yummy. All right, delicious. Now let's try the chips. Oh yeah, make sure you get some chips in the next bite. So we're going to enjoy our camping dinner here, and then we're going to come back in a few minutes with a yummy camping dessert for you. All right, we are back to make our camping dessert. Today we're going to make s'mores, but we don't have a fire. How can we make s'mores without a fire? We could use cones. That's right, we're going to make our s'mores in the oven. We're going to put all of our s'more ingredients into a cone, and you can add whatever you want and in it. You can add whatever you want. Even strawberries. That's right. Some of our suggestions, of course, are graham cracker. Do you want to crunch up some of that in a bowl for me? Sure. You got to crunch it up small. Graham crackers, chocolate, uh, marshmallows. You can do fruit. We got little strawberries here. Bananas would be good too. And here we have Reese's peanut butter cups. If you have little Reese's chips, basically anything you like together, throw them in the cone. All right, good job. Not so, too small. One of the first things you want to do is put in the marshmallows because they help make it so nothing sneaks out the bottom. So put a couple of marshmallows. I want to put in some of my marshmallows. Okay, go ahead. Just put a couple on the bottom. All yeah, right? Yeah. And then you can start. You're actually going to want these to be even smaller. If you're doing graham crackers, make them real small so they're just kind of like crumbles in there. Some graham cracker crumbles. Some more marshmallow. Of course you need chocolate. I mean, there's no s'mores without chocolate, right? Yeah. So s'mores. Chocolate. Chocolate. Hmm. I think this one's going to have some Reese's in it too, all right? I think mine's going to have some strawberries. Strawberries? Strawberries are good too. Cut them up nice and small so they fit inside. And put marshmallows on top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, extra marshmallows on top too. Strawberries. Reese's and marshmallows. Are you going to eat all the pieces before it's ready? No. No? All right. So, you don't want them overflowing too much, but you can kind of put them right up to the top. And then what we're going to do is wrap them in tin foil. And that's how we heat them up. We wrap each one in tin foil and heat it up in the oven. All right, so keep them upright when you pick them up, otherwise you're going to lose all your insides. I think it needs a little more chocolate, what do you think? Yeah. Wrap it up, make sure the top is sealed up so it doesn't drip out. Naughty. <laughs> Naughty chocolate dripping? You Don't steal my let the chocolate get away. All right, is yours all done? Yes. Here we go, put it in here. Oh, the last one. I guess you got to eat that piece. All right, so if you are out camping, these can just go in the fire for a few minutes to melt everything. Or if you're inside like us, they're going to go in the oven. So you just need to put them in the oven oh. at 350 for about five to eight minutes till everything's all nice and chocolatey. So we're going to go do that right now. All right, now we're going to put them in the oven. It's on 350, and remember kids, it's very hot. So either have a grown-up put them inside, or oh, use a um, yeah, a hot glove. Oops, so, Oops, so stuff like that happens. All right, so just five to eight minutes until they're all nice and melty, and we'll see what they look like. Did we set a timer? Yep, here, yeah, we set a timer. Are you ready, timer? How many are we doing? Five minutes, and then we'll check Hit on them. Stop. All right, we just took our cones out of the oven, um, we did use a towel because they are warm. They cool down fast, but make sure you're careful. So hold them upright, open them slowly, 
in case there's any heat inside of them. Mmm, they look good. You want some help? Yeah, it's hot. Yeah. You want to hold this one up? Usually the cones themselves aren't too hot, just the tin foil. Oh, I think that one's yours. That one's nice yeah. and full. Prop this one. We'll open this one up. So if you want to take a spoon and kind of mix it around, everything's nice and soft. And if you mix it around, it'll get all melty and gooey. Ooh, kind of like a and s'more. See? Yummy. Yummy. All right. You want to take a bite? Sure. All right. We're going to cheers with our spoons. <laughs> cheers. Mmm. Mm. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Abigail? It's pretty good. I'm going to try a strawberry next. Oh, yeah. Try a strawberry. There's different flavors in here. Mmm. So this is a really mm. quick, easy, and delicious dessert that you can customize any way you like it. So we're gl so glad that you joined us today. We hope that you get to go camping soon, or if not, you can camp at home with our special treats. So thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.